Cowapunk dudes, it's David coming at you from Organic Prize Books with a book that I'm really excited about that was just released by DC. This is my like California boys, but this is how I think Michelangelo with towns. Because uh, today we're looking at Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by IDW and DC. So this this is listen guys, this is a childhood dream of my ten year old David right now is screaming on the inside because you get to see Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Are you kidding me? I was always Michelangelo. Uh, I had three. I had two. I have two brothers, and I had a cousin, and we would all uh, always play Ninja Turtles, and I always got to be Michelangelo. So this is just crazy to see this. Uh, okay, here's the front. Shout out to Mitch. Yeah. T fan. Spine. So he's squealing like a little girl right now. <laughs> and the back. Uh -huh. And then I'm about to show you. Look, this this spread I just saw it, and I'm just gonna point out everybody who's on here. Look at this bad boy. Ooh. So you got anti monitor uh, mixed with oh, what's his face. Um, if you know it, you know who I'm talking about, that, you know, that monster that was in the robot, so he's obviously huge. You have two Batmans, you have the black and gray, and you have the blue and the gray. You have Batgirl over here, you have, of course, the Ninja Turtles, two versions of them, the black and white and the colors. You also have, uh, Jason Todd Red, Red Hood over here, you got Damien, you got, uh, Tim Drake over here, and then you got Nightwing, I believe, where's Nightwing? Right here. So you got all of the Bat Family are the major players of the Bat Family, plus two sets of Ninja Turtles and two Batman? Come on, man. This is, listen, I'm, uh, I think I just came. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look, and I'll tell you what's in this book. And then, of course, the artwork on this looks great. The colors on this pop. Uh, look at, oh, my God. Just, listen, I'm going to read this one just to read it. I'm not going to do a review because I know probably uh, Omnibuddy's going to do it. Because uh, he's a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan, but I just want to read it just to see the story. Look at that! That looks so cool. Uh, so this collects Teenage uh, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, number one through six, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number two, number one through six, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three, number one through six, and hundreds of pages of behind the scene material. So again, there's some on here by Kevin Eastman, who's the original artist for the Ninja Turtles when they first came out. You have artwork by. Uh, uh, art germ, you have artwork by a lot of really good artists, and I'll show you that later, but just look at this. Plus, all of the, you get like, not only do you get the Bat Family, but you also get a lot of the Batman villains. You got Bane in here, uh, there's Penguin earlier, if you saw, uh, you're gonna run into Ra's al Ghul in here, you Joker, so it's like, you know, it's David's dream comic if he was, you know, well, now too, but when I was 13, dude, you showed me this, I'd be like, what, no way. This is the coolest thing ever. And from this came a movie that came out uh, in 2019, which was Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles, a cartoon, which had a really, really good fight scene. I think it's actually one of the longest Batman Shredder fight scenes. It's, it's around a minute 30, and it's amazing. Okay, so the actual comic ends, ooh, like right here. So basically, the rest of this is all bonus material. And you're going to see, look, look at this artwork. Damn. They really did, they got some really good artists for this. This one, look at this one. Oh, my God. This one's black and white, except for the colors on the, tur on the turtles and then the full color spread. Bro, easily poster. That, that's, a, that's an easy poster right there. Uh, this is the one by Art Germ, which is very cool. More realistic. I like that. Uh, you have some by, what's this one? Neil Adams, very cool as well. Uh, Dave Wilkins. Uh, and look, oh, you get you get some by uh, Michael Allred and Laura Allred. So if you've read any of the Silver Surfer um, and the Batman Space Space Age, then this that same artwork that like '50s pop art style, very nice. And then of course a lot of by Kevin Eastman right here. And you can definitely tell his style. It looks really oh, and uh, Freddie E. Williams does a lot of really good artwork on this one. This one with the helmet. Looks great. Check out the Instagram for the picture I took of it from the one in the book. But this style, very, very cool, very grungy. I like that a lot. But see, you get to see all of these, row, all the row gallery in there. Uh, Master, Master Splinters in there. April, uh, you know, you got, uh, what's, what's the hockey guy's name? Ah, I'm so excited I forgot. Uh, besides that, you also get uh, a making of the covers as you see here. You got some of the pencil drawings, some of the black and white on here. Uh, some of the covers, the actual covers for the comic books when this was released. Look at that one. That one is real cool. 
and you get like the storyboard or how they came up with the designs. I like how they put the sticky notes so you don't you get to like focus on the characters before they make it into the final one. Very very cool. So you get a lot of behind the scenes, guys. If you are definitely interested in, then don't skip on this. Look at that. This looks great. Look at all the different, uh, basically the concepts of how they started it and how it kept going. The final product in black and white and shading all in. Super, super cool. Uh, let's see. And then, of course, some of the characters, some of the additional characters designs they did. Oh, look, the crossovers. Hey, like Robin's costume, but just with the Ninja Turtles. The Joker with Shredder combined, I believe. Uh, the Harley Quinn, of course, like that Asian style. Oh, look at that. Nightwing, Nightwing, Leonardo, are you kidding me? That's awesome. And then Red Hood, Raphael, bro. And Batman just, Batman's Batman, you can't change him. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and they even have the ones for the actual movie as well, like the design that they made based on this comic book. So let me show you that. Look, a lot of these uh, covers, like this is one of the covers that's really cool. This one, I'm telling you, you get to, basically, I really like that they give you the full cover. It's not just little pictures of it, it's the actual cover, what it looks like. So you're getting all of the covers from the comics if you collected it. Uh, in single issues, you don't have to do that. I mean, look, you get all of these now. Very cool. All right, and let me show you that with the movie one. So there you go, the cartoon movies and the designs that came from the book. So that's really cool to see. I like how each of the turtles has a different body type. It's not the same. You know, Raphael, since he's like a brawler, he would have more muscles like that. Uh, Donatello, since he's the techie guy, he would be much skinnier, much lighter. Uh, Michelangelo, like since he's like the parkour guy, he'd be much more nimble. Very cool. And then you got your Joker and the Shredder. So there we go, guys. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. They're working on the Batmobile together. Oh, there you go. This is uh, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. David sweating like a delivery piece, delivery guy about to deliver pizzas at Ninja Turtles. He knows he's going to get shredded. Uh, check this out, guys. Get our Gunner Prize books, and I'll see you in the next one.